Good evening, it is uh, 5.36, and this is a regular board meeting of the Brownsville Navigation District. Reverend Lewis, can you lead us in a prayer? Dear Father in heaven, we love you, we praise you, and thank you for the gift of your son, Jesus Christ, and we thank you uh, for this poor. Thank you for the commissioners, uh, for the administration. We pray that your hand would continue to be on us. Father, we thank you for the favor and the grace that you've shown us. Continue to bless the projects that are before us. Father, we pray especially uh, for Reverend Will Ayton, who is in your presence right now. We thank you for his years of service, his devotion to the man that came to this port. Father, we praise you and thank you for his life. We thank you for the work that goes on and for your blessing upon it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Enjoy me at the WT. Congratulations to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Thank you. Um, item number two, public audience. Uh, we have no one to signed up to talk about an agenda item, but we do have uh, a person signed up for the public comment after the meeting okay. is concluded. Item number three, receive director's reports. Commissioners, uh, we have time to read them. If you uh, don't have any questions, we can proceed. I, I have no, I have no question. They're very well, very They're very clear and calm. Everybody's doing a good job. Thank you. Yes, sir. We're good. Thank you. Make a motion. We accept the, the uh, director's report says no. we, we need to. We, yeah. we don't have to. No. Okay. okay. Okay, um, item number four, consideration and action on the following consent agenda items. A, approval of the minutes of the regular board meeting of July 18, 2012. B, approval to authorize payments over 25,000. One, BRG Railroad, reimbursement of payment of the North Yard project in the amount of 479,000. 73842 item B uh, excuse me 2 O'Brien's response management payment for the 2008 2009 project grant management and 2012 grant application in the amount of 25000 item C approval of the following leases 1 RTW Properties LP Elite Fuels Inc license agreement Item D, consideration and action on application for renewal of solid waste collection and disposal license to Allied Waste of Rio Grande Valley and Brownsville GMS uh, Limited. Mr. Chairman, right. Commissioners, mm -hmm. on uh, item 4C1, uh, uh, request that um, Mr. Renfro takes a look at the document uh, that was. Uh, presented to us for his approval and uh, once he reviews it and if it's in order then we request the board's consent to go ahead with that uh, inter uh, interconnection of those two terminals. Okay. So he wants to go ahead and prove it subject, subject to, to yes, yes. Yes. So we're not tabling it. No. Can I second that? There hasn't been a motion. Well, oh, can I make, you want me to make a motion to, to do this? Oh, Johnny, I'm are we going to do all of them at the same time as usual, or are we going to? Yeah. Okay. Did we do, would we go down to D2 as well? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, sure. the only question I have is on the, um, the, uh, on applicant solid waste collection disposal license. These are already existing. Right. Yes. That's right. all I mm -hmm. want to make sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, no, Motion by Commissioner. Oh, I'm sorry. I just had a question on, on the, the item that we just brought up. Was that already looked at by legal counsel? I, no. I've been out and it came in while I was out. Okay. And, and I think there was a little bit of confusion. Mm -hmm. In the past, we've done licenses when a pipeline crosses unleased property. This is a, this is a pipeline that goes from one lease site to another and they're adjacent. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't actually cross our property. It's all leased property. Okay. So it's simply a matter of the board approving the form of their agreement between the two of them. But I will look at that tomorrow. And acknowledging it in the menu. Okay. Right. But I, I would like to make a motion that we approve uh, item number four, uh, 
A through D, with that C1 be subject to the approval of our, the review of our attorney? I can have a motion by Commissioner uh, Cowan, do I again? I'll second it. Second by Commissioner Reed. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item number five, consideration and action on application for new license for solid waste collection and disposal license to Alamo Environmental Doing Business as ACI Recycling and Disposal. Good evening, Chairman, Mr. Demar. Alamo Environmental Doing Business as ACI's Recycling and Disposal is asking for a new license for solid waste and disposal of life. Uh, they're actually taking over Red River. Uh, Red River has halted their operations back in March of 2012, and they're just taking over the, that, that route. Uh, but it's a new company that is taking over Red River. That's why it's a new license. And it's subject to you receiving? Everything's, uh, we got everything in, in, in place. We got all the licenses, all the certificates in place, and they already submitted their $500. Okay. Which is so, so they've met all the requirements, all the requirements and, yes, and the staff's recommendation is that we approve it? to approve the license. Okay. Um, Mr. Chairman, will you motion I would like to make a motion Ramula. that we approve that. I'll I'll second. Second, second by Commissioner Rambula. All those in favor? <laughs> Aye. Aye. <laughs> That's quick. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Item number six, consideration and action mm. um, authorizing the port director and CEO to execute an agreement with the Greater Brownsville Incentive Corporation for development of a strategic infrastructure and development plan for the port, airport, and eastern industrial quarter of Brownsville, Texas. Mr. Cumberland asked me to uh, uh, answer any questions you may have about the funding for this. Uh, the total total cost of the port of our share of this is going to be about one hundred and fifty thousand four hundred twenty dollars over the next two years. We have budgeted seventy five thousand for this year, and uh, the next will be coming in twenty thirteen. And let me get this straight: this this work that they're going to do would be to identify the areas. Uh, and the, within the 40,000 acres of land that we have, 40,000 plus acres of land, and kind of where we're going to put, where we would like to, to see what grow and what what type of businesses to grow in there and what... I think this is more comprehensive than just the port. I think it's... Mm -hmm. city. Yeah, no, no, I understand. No, no, but let, me, to, let me finish no, what I'm saying. In other words, what, what, what we'd like to see done where with land and what... We have a land use plan, and that also that this would dovetail with what the city and the airport and everybody else is doing, so that it, we're looking at a whole global picture rather than just us, the port, and the city looking at it, just them. Right, and then right, right. the the two, when it comes time for the two to connect, there's a disconnect, and we need to make sure they all connect and flow, and because we all serve the same people yes. in the. In and it's the, taking a regional, a regional yes. approach to develop. Now, Commissioner Rambola, since you're our chairman. On that uh, area yes, committee, sir. are you fine with that? Uh, we had a uh, and meeting with uh, the port director Campirano a couple of days ago, and, and uh, Commissioner Reed ourselves on there, and we went through the whole uh, manual that it, uh, Eddie had given us, which is uh, attached to this. Uh, the 451,000. You know, I, initially I thought it was the, the cost that we were going to pay, but when Eddie broke it down, says it's uh, 175,000. That about 150,000. Yeah. And we understand that almost three quarters of that money's already been allocated on the budget that we would have for that. So we would split that in two. Three. And three? Yeah, PEB. Mm -hmm. GVICs are approved GVIC their, approved their theirs, share. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it'll be a third, That's a third, PEB. a third. And then the money that the 150000 would be split uh, this year's budget and the next year's budget. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. In this, this year's budget, yeah. and then the other half will be budget. Right. So we're just I, don't, I don't think they're, I mean, I think it's a great move uh, based on, on not only the cost of the project, mm -hmm. but everybody's collaborating, pitching in on that. So right. yeah, I think it's a win-win for the port. And we're just waiting for yeah. PUB to have their right. meeting. Once, right. it, yeah, once we approve it, then right. PUB will have their meeting, and that'll, right. yeah. that'll and solidify it. It's it it also great it. that PUB's coming in on it, because if we decide that, you know, like 550, or there's all that land that's going to come in there, mm -hmm. and then how utilities are going to get there, because you can't build anything without utilities. So no, yeah. there will be a contract between the port and GBIC, and of course it'll have to be reviewed by Daniel. 
and so there's a lot of there's a there's a, uh, there's quite a, a process a before we're just oh yeah it's just so right we're chances just, are in that seventy five thousand we'll probably only spend about a quarter of it before the end of the year mm -hmm. just because it's going to take a while for for the process to go through so but i concur with the commissioner i'm it is a, it we were going to do this anyway on our own or we were mm -hmm. talking yeah, about talking it about, yeah. and so it's much better to collaborate and, and do what's best for the taxpayers it's a lot cheaper and, and it's a united effort right exactly. well, i think it makes great sense and i know it's something i've been pushing for three four four years plus that i've been on here so i think it's a great idea so i'll make a motion yeah. sir if we if it's accepted by the commission I have a motion by Commissioner Rambula. John, if you'd like to. I'll second it. Second by Commissioner Reed. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, sir. Item number seven, consideration and action to award contract on the concrete pads and chain link fences at lift stations number 5, 11, 12, and 13 project to the lowest qualified bidder and to authorize B&D staff to issue the notice of award. Thank you. Uh, <coughs> the shop has opened these bids yesterday, and we did get four bids. Uh, a couple of them did not use the one of them did not use the proper form bid, bid issues. Uh, the low bidder, however, was Donald D. Ferguson. Their their bid was uh, complied in all respects of what we asked for them. They had a bid bond, and there's only the room. We've had to do a lot of work here at the court, and it is uh, Mr. Chelly's recommendation that we award that, that bid to them. Their bid was twenty eight thousand six ten. Uh, his his estimate of the, of the project was thirty four thousand dollars, so they came in well underneath. Mm -hmm. Our high bidder was forty thousand four ninety two, and we had two other bids in the thirty five to thirty two thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. Just out of curiosity, do we require bid bonds on? A, mm -hmm. And so it, it's a state law. So these two other. individuals, even if they had been companies, I should say, even if they had been lower than the Ferguson. They would not have qualified. We would have had to ask you as a board to waive a regular Anyway, I was just curious. Okay. Thank you. I get a motion. So moved. Motion Second. by Commissioner Reed, second by Commissioner Cowan. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Okay. Item number eight, adjourn into executive session. I don't know. Okay. Item 9, possible actions, there's nothing. Item 10, uh, public comment period. We have uh, Mr. Steve Pettis that signed up. Um, it's a quick meeting. Mr. Pettis, I'm working on the fastest meeting. We have 45 We've, minutes to talk. No yeah. talk. Yeah. 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 I'm trying to break the record for the fastest <laughs> meeting, so can you? I'm talking a lot of you. I think it is, Steve. Steve is great. We appreciate all you, all you do, Steve. Yeah. I just uh, <laughs> don't want to hold that record for the fastest this meeting. This would have been a record. Yeah. Uh, Thank you, good Steve. news, Steve. Two minutes, 48 seconds. Chairman, <laughs> 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 yeah. fellow commissioners, just bring a little bit of uh, updates. As we know, on uh, Section A, very happy to, you know, and, and I'm more than sure you guys already know about it, that this is current as of uh, three days ago, and the small parts in blue are actually up to par I-69. And if you notice all the way from Brownsville all the way to Section A, uh, yeah, it looks like, I don't know, what, 12%? But when we go to section B, this is what we're projecting, then I-69 will be completed. And I'll be quoting David Alex, he mentioned 36 months on that. Uh, a few little months here and there, 48 months, but it looks like 2015 will be obviously very proud owners of I-69 as a community, of course. And on letter C, just wanted to bring out uh, letter C, which is we also see this happening in 2015. Uh, we will be connected to the Supervia. It will be complete. Uh, I-69, as you know, will be complete. But we're also working on Ruta 69. Ruta 69, you remember a few maybe yeah. updates ago, mm -hmm. that's the connectivity that we want to be able to connect and market to Ciudad Victoria and all the way to San Luis Potosí. And on the other little red square, we're also monitoring the full trucks. The full trucks, obviously, uh, is the double container, so the double flatbed or whatever double. That is legislation that didn't pass this past few legislation things, but they keep at it. And in fact, uh, just currently July 6th, the surface transportation law, there's a few clauses there that they're going to be doing some uh, impact study on the long termination vehicles. Bottom line, we see that it's going to happen sooner or later. But when it happens, who's going to benefit first? The Port of Brown. Why do we see that? Well, if you go to the section C, 
if you see where we're connecting with the Supervia and the Ruta 69, it all comes down to where you cross. And if we're the only crossing point that can do the double truck, guess what's gonna happen to our port of entry? We're just gonna be full trucks, which is good. And of course, the port of Browns will be part of uh, destination, crossing destination, the distributor, the truck hub, and of course, we don't forget about the M10 traffic. That will spur up some M10 traffic as well. So that's just wanted to bring up some updates on that. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you so much for all you do. Three minutes. You didn't okay. just you still have time. <laughs> okay. Item number 11, adjourn. Can I get a motion to adjourn? Someone. Someone. Second. Motion.